All right, guys. Uh, welcome back. Uh, last time I was just completely fucking horrified, and now the music still stopped, and I don't like this. I don't. I don't want to do this. I hard hard debated not continuing these fucking videos, but then I was like, you know what? I started them. I'm gonna fucking finish them. Uh, Poser67 here, and the music has stopped, so we know something horrifying is coming again. I don't know what, but Monica is really fucking creeping me out, saying that fucking Natsuki doesn't get fed at home, and that's why she's so skinny. I don't know what the fuck that was all about, or throwing a fucking candy bar at her, or protein bar like a fucking animal, or fucking fuck Monica. Okay, okay, we can do this. Oh wait, it came back on. Okay, good things are happening. Fool yourself. So this is definitely, this happened all on day three, I think, or day two. It's like a mix now because the Monik, or the Natsuki thing happened like the third day and this has happened day two, I'm pretty sure because she's gonna mention her boobs. I wasn't the one whose boobs magically grew a size bigger as soon as boobs started showing up. Okay, so yeah, that's, I don't... This is so weird. Okay, we're just gonna move on. Oh, oh what the fuck? I don't know how to try. Oh my god, this is fucking terrible. Oh my god, 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 oh my god. Oh my bad. Okay, the music's really fast. What the fuck is wrong with your head? You go on that puzzle here, everything you really think. I'm sure he'll be head over heels for you after this. Suddenly Yuri turns towards me as if she noticed I was standing here. Bozer, she's just trying to make me look bad. That's not true. She started it. Um, how, how did, what, what's going on? Um, I... What? What is going on? Okay. Oh my fucking god, you fuck. Oh my god. Monica, what the fuck? Seriously. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. We're not getting anywhere, Monica. Um, hey, poser. Why don't we step outside for a little bit? Oh my god, I've got goosebumps everywhere. This is fucking horrifying. Okay? How about no? No, I don't want to go outside with you. You're Sorry about that. They really shouldn't have tried to get you involved. It's probably better for us to stay out of this. We'll go back inside once they're done yelling. Ah ha ha ha. Some president I am, right? I can't even confront my own club members properly. I just wish I was able to be a little bit more, a little more assertive sometimes, but I never have it in me to put my foot down against others. You understand, right? Anyway, if this makes you want to spend less time with the others, then that's fine. I'd be happy to spend time with you instead. Natsuki runs out of the classroom. She's crying. She quickly runs away. Oh dear, well, it looks like they're done. Natsuki, come back. I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. He is rocking back and forth in her desk with her palms in her forehead. Yuri? Didn't mean it. I believe you. I, you have no idea what Yuri might have said to Natsuki or did. Poser, please don't hate me. Please, I'm not like this. There's something wrong with me today. It's fine, Yuri. We know you didn't mean it. Besides, I'm sure Natsuki will forget all about it by tomorrow completely. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is f fuck. The meeting is over, so you can go home now if you want. Yuri looks at me as if she wants to say something, but she keeps glancing at Monica. You can go first, Monica. I like to say, stay a little bit longer. I am the president, so I should be the last one out. I'll wait for you to be done. Well, I'm vice president, so please let me take that responsibility today. It's kind of sounds like you don't want me around for something, Yuri. It's not that. It's not that. I just didn't get much of a chance to discuss my book with Poser. Yeah, of course. It would, it would just be embarrassing with you listening. Oh, my. Okay, sigh. 
Because I really don't have a choice, do I? I'm sorry for causing trouble. But I really... Oh, what the fuck? 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 What in the actual fuck? Um... What does this one mean? Should I click this one? Okay. Um... I still see them over there. What the fuck was that sound? Okay, we're getting weird sounds coming in. I'm... I am very not happy of what's going on. I do, I... Um... Guys, I'm super scared. This is fucking horrifying. Uh, we're just going with everything we know Natsuki likes, right? Um, agonizing is right. Joy... Happy things, happy things, happy things, happy things, please just happy things. Okay, I did all those things. Couple of days entering the club room. Um, that's not the usual scene. Okay, she's back to normal. It's around the room. Natsuki's reading manga at the desk, and surprisingly, Monica isn't here yet. Suddenly, Yuri takes my arm and pulls me to the corner of the room. About yesterday, I, I really need to apologize. Nothing like that has ever happened before, and something just came over me, I guess. I wasn't acting mentally sound. Please don't think we're usually like this. Not just me, but Natsuki as well. Happy that you were considerate and apologized. You don't have to worry much. Even though I've only been here a couple days, I could tell something was off yesterday. Maybe it was just a little extra sensitive because it was our first time sharing poems. Was it, though? It was definitely not. Definitely not. Whatever it was, it didn't take me. It didn't make me think any less of you. I had already decided that there's no way I can, you can be a bad person. And now that you're apologizing, you know, you really didn't mean it. Uh, poser. Don't say those kind of things so frankly. They make me a little ha too happy. I'm really glad it's any person, and I'm really glad that you joined this club. Everything's a little bit brighter with you around, and... Ah! Sorry, what am I saying right now? I just... <clears throat> she was... Man. So I know I haven't... Jeez, this is not... This isn't like her at all. I know it's stupid, but I can't help but worry a little bit. What? What are you? Why are you looking at me like that? Um, not to keep out yesterday. Just wanted to apologize. I promise I didn't mean anything. The things I said. I just want to stay under control from now on. So Yuri, what the heck are you talking about? Did you do something yesterday? Eh? Jeez. Whatever is on your mind, I'm sure it was nothing. Interesting. I don't even remember anything bad happening. You're the kind of person who worries too much about the little things, aren't you? But I'll accept your apology anyway if it helps you feel better about it. Besides, it's kind of nice to hear since I was... No. So weird. I was always afraid you secretly hated me or something like that. Oh my god. <coughs> no, not at all. I don't hate you. Ha ha ha. Well, you're kind of weird, but I don't hate you either. So if he turns to me, you're still on trial, though. Hey. Sorry, I'm super sorry. Or super late. No, oh, there you are. I didn't mean to be late. Because we weren't doing anything. No. He was. I was not. What took you so long, anyway? Ah, well, my last period was study halt. Check a time. Sounds so. You would have heard the bell ring, at least. What I heard is this practice piano. Piano. I wasn't aware you played music. Okay, we've already gone through all of this. 
So we don't need to keep going through it, right? Seriously. Wondering if you'd like to spend some time together today. I mean, in the club, I might suppose so. She's reading over there, see? Don't think about her so much. She's used to being ignored. Come on, we're going over there. What the fuck? What the fuck? Okay, it's not black anymore. How was my character not like, what the fuck is going on? Oh my god, a portrait of Markov. Oh. It's about a religious camp that was turned into a human experiment prison and the people trapped there have this trait that turns them into killing machines and lust for blood. What the fuck in the fuck, fuck, fuckity, fuck, fuck. Ugh. But the facility gets even worse when they start selectively breeding people by cutting off their limbs and affixing them to- Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Really into it, the book, I mean. Not the thing about the limbs. That's kind of- It's kind of dark, isn't it? Yuri made it sound like it was going to be a nice story. So that dark turn came from nowhere. Don't worry, I hope so. Um... I don't know what I feel about this, guys. I'm very concerned right now. This is v very scary, I feel like. It's not normal. So, let's... Oops. Continue on, I guess. So, I feel like if I went the Yuri path, like if I did the Yuri poem, this is what would have happened. I would have had to talk to her about the book she gave me. But because I went the Natsuki path, I did manga instead? Is that what's happening right now? outside but her mind seems to be completely different it's just that this kind of story it's the kind that challenges you look you you to look at life from a strange new perspective when horrible things happen not just because someone wants to be evil but because the world is full of horrible people and we're all worthless anyway then suddenly i'm rambling aren't i yeah yes you are rambling horrifyingly i might add no, please do apologize. Fuck me. Please do. It's interested or anything. Well, it's all right then, but I feel like I should let you know that I have this problem whenever... When I let things like books and writing fill my thoughts, my whole... Oh, shit, I missed that. Okay, that's okay. I kind of forget to pay attention to other people. I end up saying something that's strange, so please stop me if I start talking too much. That's... I really don't need to worry. That means you're passionate about reading. The least I can do is listen. Okay, it's a literature club after all. Ah, uh, that's... It's true. In fact, I might as well get started reading, right? What the fuck? Yes. I mean, you don't have to, but ah, uh, what are you saying? Let me just get the book. I quickly retrieve the book. Alright, it's fine. I sit here. I slip into the seat next to Yuri. Ah, uh, yeah. Are you sure? You seem a little apprehensive. That's... I'm sorry, it's not that I don't want you to, it's just something I'm not very used to, that is, reading in company with someone. I see. Well, just tell me if I end up distracting you or anything. Alright. I look at the prologue, I soon understand that you're means about the reading com in company. It's as if I could feel her present over my shoulder as I read. Bad thing, maybe a little distracting, but it's feeling is somewhat comforting. I feel like... So if yesterday's Natsuki thing was the Natsuki thing that you'd go through if you pick Natsuki on doing the Yuri thing, and now Yuri is going to fuck up majorly, like her eyes are going to go dark like fucking Natsuki's did. Looking at her own book, glance over, it looks like she's reading from my book instead. Sorry, I was just, I was just bathing, what? Okay, so I didn't skip it, I didn't think I did. Did it for me. I want to go back and see what I, I was just bathing. Don't really mean to. Sorry. I mean, ah uh, ha ha. Here, this should work right. 
I slid my desk up from Yuri's and all my book more between them. I suppose so. Yuri timidly closes her own copy. Once in, once we each lean in a little bit, our shoulders are almost touching. Oh, that's cute. It feels like my left arm is in the way, so instead I use my right hand to hold the book open. Uh, I guess that kind of makes it difficult to turn the page here. Yuri takes her left arm, holds the left side of the book between her thumb and her forefinger. Ah, same with my right arm on the right side of the book. Then I turn the page, and Yuri slides it under her thumb after it flips to her side. But in holding it like this, we're huddled even closer together than before. It's actually kind of distracting me. It's as if I can feel the warmth of Yuri's face, and she's in the corner of my vision. Are you ready? Eh? Turn the page. Ah, oh, sorry. I think I got a bit dis distracted for a second. Yeah, I've been distracted since this fucking game started because this is fucking insane. Let's see where your eyes and eyes meet again. I don't know how I'll be able to keep up with her. Ah, uh, that's okay. You're not as used to reading right. I don't mind being patient if it takes you a bit longer. It's probably the least I can do. Since you've been so patient with me. Yeah, thanks. We continue reading. Yuri no longer asks me if I'm ready to turn the page. Instead, I just assume that she finishes the page before me, so I turn it by my own volition. Hmm. We continue the first chapter in silence. Even so, turning each page almost feels like an intimate exchange. My thumb gently will... I just feel like I should know more at this point. Like, several bad things are happening, and I'm still going through the fucking motions with these fucking people. They were screaming at each other, and I tried to pick Natsuki, and Monica showed up at the front of the fucking thing! Like a fucking serial killer! Ugh. I just... Ugh, man, this is hard. <coughs> My thumb gently letting go of the page. Letting it flutter over to her side as she catches it under her own thumb. Hey, Yuri, this might be a silly thought, but the main character kind of reminds me of you a little bit. Eh? No, I don't relate to this character at all. Oh, man. Think of the way I'm guessing she... That, yeah, that's what you were talking about. Sorry, I thought you meant something else about her. Something else, never mind. Far yet, so I don't know. Came to my head, ah. Uh -huh. Yuri, are you feeling all right? Eh. Yuri's been a little fidgety ever since we started reading. You can rest your... You can rest if you're feeling sick or something. A little of my breathing? Yuri puts her hand on her chest and feels her heartbeat. I didn't even notice. Anyway, I'm fine. Just need some water. Alright, don't push yourself. He stands up and presses her breast out. What on earth was that about? Tozer, did something just happen just now? Ugh. So that happened with Natsuki too, if I remember right. She rushed out of the classroom after something's happened. The same with, with Sayori. It's like a little strange, I guess. So you don't know anything. Sorry, I can't say I do. Oh, no, not really. Don't worry, I believe you, silly. Yuri just does this sometimes, so it's nothing alarming. All right, if you say so. Anyway, why don't we start sharing a poem with each other? Eh, shouldn't wait for Yuri. Oh, she might be a while, so I just figured we'd get started without her. Is that okay? Yeah, I was just asking. Stand up, I make a mental note of where I left off in the book and I slipped back in my bag. Okay, we're going back to Natsuki. Well, if it's not terrible, but it's pretty disappointing after your last one. And again, if you... So this is different. So last time I did a bad job on my first one and she mentioned it, and this time I did a bad job on my last one because I can't see their reactions. I think that's on purpose. It feels like it's on purpose. Each other, maybe you'll find out influence from all of those, for instance. Spending some time with Yuri today, not that I care who you spend time with. After all, I was taught never to expect anything from anybody, so it's not like I was waiting for you or anything. Still, you should at least look at my poem, you'll probably learn something from it. Uh... Ah. Is that terrible? Kind of very no. Is it a code? I'm not picking anything out of this. Maybe I'm. This is bad. 
Poser, why didn't you come read with me today? I was waiting for you. I was waiting for a long time. It was the only thing I had to look forward to today. Why did you ruin it? Do you like Yuri more? I think you're better off not associating with her. Are you listening to me? Yuri is a sick freak. That should be obvious by now, so just play with me instead, okay? You don't hate me, Poser, do you? Oh my god, what the fuck am I looking at? Do you want to make me go home crying? The club is the only place I feel safe. Don't ruin that for me. Don't ruin it. Please, just stop talking to Yuri. Play with me instead. It's all I have. Play with me. Oh, the music's off. Is there blood coming from her fucking eyes? Oh my god, I'm getting tingles all over my fucking body. What is going on? Okay, play with me. Oh my fucking god, oh my... Oh, Jesus Christ, what the fuck was that? Oh my god, oh! Oh, jeez! What the fuck? Oh, I don't... Okay, we're, we're gonna go on! Monica has been fairly normal recently. Be my savior, Monica! How's the writing going? It's fucking horrifying. Are you fucking kidding right now? Fucking Natsuki just killed herself, I think. I'll take that as long as it's not going bad. I'm happy you're applying yourself. Maybe soon you'll come up with a masterpiece. Oh, can I just come up with like a... I don't even know. I'm just at such a loss for words, I can't even read this right now. Oh, uh, give my poem to Monica. I was going, ooh, in my head and reading it. It's really metaphorical. I'm not sure why, but I didn't expect you to go for something so deep. I guess I underestimated you. It's easiest for me to keep everyone's expectations low. That way, it always comes when I put in some effort. Huh, that's not very fair. Well, I guess it worked anyway. You know that Yuri likes kind of writing, right? Full of imagery and symbolism. Sometimes I feel like Yuri's mind is just totally detached from reality. I don't mean like that's a bad thing though, but sometimes I get the impression that she's totally given up on people. She spent so much time in her own head. That's why she gets so happy when you treat her with a lot of kindness. I don't think she's used to being indulged by that. She must be really starved for social interactions, so don't blame her for coming on a little strongly. Curly, I think she gets too stimulated and ends up withdrawing. I'm looking. Door opens. Yuri! I'm back. Is anything? Not really. Well, we... So where the fuck did Natsuki go? Anyway, you want to read my poem now? I better... What the fuck? Okay, save me. The colors they wait, bright, beautiful. Be at full. I don't flash. Piercing red, green, blue, and cacophony of meaningless noise. Uh, uh, God, sign. Like playing a knife on a. Breathing rip cage. What the fuck? Like playing a chalkboard on a run. PM meaningless. Delete her? What? Yeah! Oh my god, the tingles on my fucking skin right now, the fucking goosebumps everywhere. This is fucking horrifying. I thought this game was a fucking dating simulator! What the fuck is this?! Oh my god, there's a message at the beginning of the game that it says not suitable for small children or something like that, and I can see fucking why now! I just thought it was because there's kind of attractive women in it. Okay, 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 okay... Never mind, there's no point in explaining. Anyway... Sometimes you'll find yourself facing a difficult decision. When that happens, don't forget to save your game. See, this is what... You never know when, um, 
Who am I talking to? Can you hear me? Tell me you can hear me? Anything? Please help me? That was my advice for the day. What the fuck? I don't want to read anyone's poem anymore. All right, Yuri. What fucking freaky fuck, fuck, freak, fuck thing are you going to do to me? Let's see what you've written for today. I just take holding it. I mean, the poem turned out good. It's, uh, well, there's some things that you could work on. Better. Feels like anything written by you is a treasure. Let's move on. Oh my god, here's the poem I wrote. See if it's normal. Wheel twirling on his ass of raining bees. Sky seven holy stakes. Dock ship. Portal to another world. I think this is one I've read. This is weird. So a rotating, if you read this line, a kaleidoscope of blood written in clocks. A time-devouring prayer correcting, connecting a sky of farty? Is that farty? Forty? Forty gears and open human eyes in all directions. Breathing gearbox? Oh my god, breaking... Ball, a bathhead breaking ship? Okay. I don't... Okay, the sound stopped again, guys. I don't like it when the sound stops. It, can, it makes me feel really uncomfortable. You know, a little hyperactive today. That is a pen fell out of your backpack yesterday, so I took it home for safekeeping. And I, uh, I just, I really like the way it, it writes, so I wrote this poem with it. And now you're touching it. Ah uh ha -huh, I'm okay. What did I just? Can we pretend this conversation never happened? You can keep the poem then. You have unlocked a special poem. Would you like to read it? Well, fuck no. N, not, in, I, N O T H, nothing is real. Okay. Well, apparently nothing's real, so that's fucking horrifying. Oh, what in the actual fuck? Oh my fucking god. This like pulsating red here. What the fuck? Okay, everyone. If the poem's right, we have something we need to go over today, so if everyone can stay in front of the room. This is okay, well, Natsuki's back. Um The noises are really fucking creepy. Okay. You're okay. What happened? I don't want to click anything, but let's click. Oh, what the fuck? Um, all right. I have enough to make an official club. All members will just mean everything gets noisier and more difficult to manage. Well, at least the music's happy again. Uh, I'm just... I feel very uncomfortable with what's going on in this episode. So we already have done all this. Kind of. Any of us who join the club with other people in mind? Yuri and even... Never even talked to Poser until Poser joined. For me, I just like it better here than I do at home. And Poser isn't even passionate about literature in the first place. That's everyone. Sorry, but you're really the only one here who's interested in finding new members. The rest of us are fine like this. I know you're president and all, but you should really consider... I just feel like something bad, is really bad, is about to happen. Monica's clearly taken aback by Natsuki's words. That's not true at all. I'm sure Yuri and Poser want to get more members too, right? I don't know about Yuri, but I'm kind of indifferent. If Monica wanted, then I would probably be 
terrifying still if it's up to me to rescue the situation. Um, no, Natsuki's right, isn't she? This club is nothing more than a place for a few people to hang out. Why did I think that everyone here saw it the same way as I did? But that doesn't mean we're against getting new members or anything. Those were, why did you even join the club? What were you hoping to get out of it? Yep, not... Well, we can because it's all fucked right now. We don't know what's going to happen. You weren't even given a choice to join. You're right. Well, now Monica's acting all fucking depressed. Being honest about word choice. Besides, you have no you have no right to speak for everyone else in the club. Like that. Now Monica wants to take it away from me. She's not taking it away. No poser. It's not the same. It w the same with the direction he wants to take it. If I wanted, if I wanted that, I then I could have just joined any other stupid club. But this one, I mean, at least for a little bit of time, things were nice. Packing up their things. I'm going home. I feel like I don't belong here right now. My god. Who cares about the obnoxious bread? Oh my fucking god. Okay. I'm back at the... Oh, that was quick. I like how nice and quiet the club is right now. And I'm just happy with you here. But still, the vice president... It's not right for me to ignore my responsibilities like that. Nobody would cry if she killed herself. Oh my fucking god. Oh, maybe Yuri's the bad one. Oh, what the fuck? Oh my god. Let's do my best to consider everyone's perspective and make the decision that's right for the club. What about you, Poser? What do you want to get out of this club? I want to get out of this club. I want to get out of this club. That's all I want, actually. Beats the same question to Monica. I decided to give an indirect answer is better than nothing. I think the most important thing, everyone to get along and for the club to provide something that you can't get anywhere else. I don't think it's about how many members, but rather the quality of each member. That's what will end up making the literature club a special place. I see. I really agree with you. Each member contributes their own qualities in a special way. With each change in members, the identity of the club as a whole will change too. I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing. Out of your comfort zone once in a while, so if you would like to help Monica with the festival, then I'm on your side as well. Alright, well maybe we can talk to Natsuki tomorrow. Yuri nods. Hey Yuri. Um, I know things were really awkward yesterday, but I feel like you deserve to know that I still think you're a wonderful vice president. And also a wonderful friend. Monica, I want you. I want to do everything I can to make this the best club ever. Okay, me too. Yeah, let's all go home for today. We'll talk about the festival tomorrow. Okay, I look forward to it. Shall we go, Poser? Um, please don't take this the wrong way, but I'm going to chat a little with Poser before we leave. Just want to see if he thinks his time here and all that. It's important to be to me as president. But she doesn't protest. Okay. Just your judgment, Monica. In that case, I'll send the two of you. Monica waves Yuri in. Phew, things have been a bit hectic lately, haven't they? Bozer, I just wanted to make sure you're enjoying your time in this club. I really hate to see you unhappy. I feel like I'm responsible for that as president. And I really do care about you, you know? I don't like seeing the other girls give you a hard time. Oh my god, it's getting bad. It's getting bad again with how mean Natsuki is and everything. And Yuri being a little bit, you know... Uh, sometimes it feels like you and I are the only real people here. What? You know what I mean? But it's weird because in all the time you've been in here, we've hardly gotten to spend any time together. Ah, uh, I mean, I guess it's technically only because it's been a couple days. Sorry, I didn't mean to say something so weird. There's just some things I've been hoping to talk about with you. Things I know you could understand... So that's why. Wait, not yet. What the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? Alright, before we start anything, we're gonna save and we're gonna call it a day. Because I am, again, uncomfortable with what's going on in this fucking game. 
All right, guys, I want to thank everyone for watching, and I hope you're as confused as I, as I am with what's happening, because I have no fucking idea, and I am just constantly scared out of my mind now. So this is cool. This is great. Uh-huh, uh-huh. It's Poser67. Remember, comment, like if you want to. If you don't, that's fine. If you just enjoyed the videos, that's cool. I hope you're liking this horrifying shithole of a game that I'm just making my way through slowly. And I will talk to you next time. Bye!